Hello teachers, parents, and kids. Welcome to this Wonder Kids Academy video. Have you ever wondered what's inside those dark, twisty places in the mountains or underground? That's right, we're talking about caves. But wait, how do caves even get there? Did someone just dig a big hole for fun? Nope, caves are made by nature. And today, we're going on an awesome underground adventure to find out how. So grab your helmets, flashlights, and your best explorer voice, and let's dive in. First, what is a cave? A cave is a natural underground space that's big enough for a person to enter. Some caves are small, some are enormous, like underground cathedrals. And believe it or not, there are many types of caves, but most of them form one special kind of rock. That's right, limestone. Limestone is a soft rock made mostly of old sea creatures, like coral and shells, that got squished together many many years ago. Pretty wild, huh? So how does limestone turn into a cave? Well, it all starts with rain. When it rains, the water falls from the sky, picks up a little carbon dioxide from the air, and turns into something called weak acid. Don't worry, it's not strong enough to hurt you, but it can slowly eat away at limestone. Over thousands, sometimes even many many years, the acidic water seeps into tiny cracks in the limestone. Bit by bit, drip by drip, it dissolves the rock and makes the cracks bigger and bigger. Eventually, those cracks become tunnels and chambers. And ta-da, a cave is born. These are called solution caves, because the rock gets dissolved, and they're the most common type of cave on Earth. Now, let's talk about something super cool you can find in these caves. Ready? Inside caves, there are drip-drop wonders called stalactites and stalagmites. Can you say that? Stalactites and stalagmites. Great job! Stalactites hang from the ceiling. Remember, they have to hold on tight stalagmites grow up from the ground. Think of them as mighty from the floor, but they form when water drips through the cave ceiling, carrying little bits of rock with it. The water leaves the rock behind, drop by drop, and soon you have sparkly stone icicles and rock towers. But limestone caves aren't the only ones out there. There are other types of caves too, and they're just as awesome. Number 1. Lava Caves when a volcano erupts, lava flows down like a river. The top part cools and hardens first, while the hot lava keeps flowing underneath. When the lava finally drains away, it leaves behind a lava tube. That's a cave made from lava. Number 2. Ice Caves Some caves form inside glaciers. As the ice melts, it carves out tunnels. These icy caves can glow blue and sparkle like a snow queen's castle. Number 3. Sea Caves Waves crashing into cliffs can wear away the rock, carving caves right into the side of the land. These are called sea caves. They're salty, splashy, and full of sea life. So, let's recap all the awesome ways caves can form. Solution Caves Formed by water dissolving rock like limestone. Lava Caves Made by cooling lava after a volcanic eruption. Ice Caves formed by melting water inside glaciers. Sea caves, carved by waves hitting cliffs. Caves can be big or small, dry or wet, warm or cold, but they all have something in common. They're all part of the Earth's amazing story. And guess what? Caves are home to some fascinating creatures too. Bats love to hang out in dark caves. Blind catfish swim in total darkness. They don't even need eyes. Bears sometimes nap in caves during the winter. It's like their cozy bedroom. But remember, caves are special and very delicate. So if you ever visit one, be sure to follow the rules, stay with a guide, and don't touch the formations. Scientists think it took thousands of years to make those. Wow, we explored limestone, lava, ice, and sea caves, and met some amazing underground friends along the way. So the next time you hear about caves, you'll know exactly how they form, and you can even teach someone else. 
Thank you for watching this Wonder Kids Academy video, and I hope you and your kids have a happy and healthy day. Make sure to check out our channel for fun and educational videos designed especially for preschoolers and young kids. And see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell.